today I'm just going to show you guys how I got my hair curled like this and yeah it's really easy and it took probably like 25 minutes like it wasn't even really that long um so yeah and once you have your hair curled like this there's tons of different ways that you can style it you can put it in a ponytail or you can um dress it up with a cute clip or something just whatever just add some personality to it and i hope that this video helps you guys who are interested in knowing how i curl my hair and i guess i'm gonna go ahead and get into the video right now all right what you need will be of course a curling iron um I think the kind that doesn't have a clip on it works the best. This one is from Hotshot Tools and it is it has a tapered end to it and that means that the beginning of this end is larger than the very tip which I think gives a little bit more of a natural looking curl than if it was all the same length or the same width okay and then you're gonna need heat protectant spray um, this one is by Suave Professionals and yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my hair I like to spray it all over but make sure you focus it on the ends of your hair because that's where there's going to be the most damage if any damage occurs. So, Sorry if you hear any like strange noises. That's probably my dog scratching on the door because he wants to leave. But whatever. <laughs> And you just want to brush through your hair to make sure that all of your hair is evenly covered by the heat protectant. Alright, what else I need is some kind of large hair clip. Um, this one I'll just be using to clip up. The top sections of my hair when I'm working on the bottom section so this is kind of different than what most people do when they curl their hair but I use two small ponytails and well I'll show you guys what to do with that later but also my curling iron came with a glove to protect your hand from getting burned because it is a clipless curling iron and you do use your fingers um, but I personally don't use this unless I'm curling someone else's hair because I like switch hands of like which hand is curl is holding the hair and stuff. So it would just be too hard to just keep switching which hand has the glove. So I just try to be really careful. And I have been burned by this before and it is not fun. It like blistered and no, it was not fun. Um, oh, and there's something else I wanted to talk about with the curling iron. This one has different heat settings, which I like. And it goes from 280, 330, 380, and 450. I have mine on 380. A lot of people just automatically go to the hottest heat setting. But I don't do that because I'm trying to minimize the damage that is done to my hair. So, yeah, I just went to 380. And it curls really good anyway, even though it's not as hot as it'll go. But it's still great. Okay, now on to the sectioning of your hair. I just take the very bottom section, just like this, pretty thin. And then just clip up the rest of my hair. And this is going to look kind of weird, but... Oh well, I don't care. Um, then I'll just start at the front of my hair. Okay, and a lot of people curl their hair 
where they like switch which direction the curl goes every time they say so that it doesn't like form into one curl but I haven't really had that problem so I just do all the hair on this side of my face I curl away from my face like outward and then all the hair on this side of my face I curl away from my face so yeah and then for this side you're going to want to position yourself with you know your hands like this and you want the curling iron to go over your head and then just wrap the hair around it slowly now I don't want really tight curls so I'm not going to leave this on very long I'm just going to slowly start dropping it and there you go there's a nice curl um, yeah I'm going to show you guys another time once again just position like this wrap your hair around the barrel slowly loosen it and there you go right. now I'm going to switch to this side and when you switch to the other side you want to switch the hand that is holding the hair and the hand that's holding the curling iron that's what I meant about like I'm switching my hands so I don't want to switch the gloves um, yeah. and if you use smaller sections of hair then you're gonna have tighter curls um, obviously if you use larger sections then you're gonna have thicker curls that aren't as tight now once you have the whole bottom section of your hair this is when the ponytail holders come into play I always tie oops Kobe stop I always tie each section into a little ponytail just to keep it separated from the rest of my hair I'll let down this section but only take a small section from this and then clip up the top again this is so pretty guys gonna do the same thing with what you did on the rest of your <gasps> Ooh. ouch I just burned my hand <sighs> that hurt yeah guys wear your glove <laughs> oh that would hurt okay gotta be careful Oh, I like to use different size sections of hair just so that the curls don't all look exactly the same but you can um, like I said earlier like the the size and tightness of the curl depends on how thick of sections you choose 
So just change. Kobe, stop. Change the size of the section depending on what you personally like. And once you finish curling this section, just take out the ponytail holders and just slip them back on, adding this new section of hair. Once again, just take out the ponytail and place it over the entire group of hair on this side. It's good enough. And then we'll just let down this side. Now I'll go ahead and spray hairspray all over my hair. Oh, I forgot to loosen this. Yeah, you're going to want to make sure that those ponytails are out because you don't want to walk around. With ponytails in your hand, it's kind of weird. Um, if you don't like how, like, these sections have, like, longer pieces that aren't curled, you can either go back and recurl it or whatever. I don't really mind it. Well, actually, I do mind it right here. bit better um and yeah I'll usually if I curl my hair like this I'll usually either pin this side back with a bobby pin or flower or pin both sides back with bobby pins or you know whatever but yeah this is how I got this and I hope you guys liked it. I hope this helped at least a few of you all. If you're trying to figure out a good way to curl your hair, this definitely works for me and I love how it turns out. And yeah, so thanks for watching guys. Bye. Kobe finally made it in here after all that scratching. Good boy, buddy. Oh, good boy. Oh, what does Teddy have? Do you want one? Do you want one? Come here. Look. Ooh. You want the bone? No. Here you go.